welcome back to yet another video. I have to admit something to you. I have a weak spot for aerobics. When I was in kindergarten and also in first and second grade, I was part of the aerobics dance team. And ever since then, I did courses here and there because I just think it's fun. I think it's fun. I'm one of those people. And that's why we are talking about aerobics today. So the first question to ask naturally is, but where does it come from? Where does it come from? Okay, now when I think of it, maybe this is not the first question to ask. The first question to ask would be, but what is aerobics? Yeah, okay, so let's start with that. <laughs> aerobics is a form of physical exercise. And the idea behind aerobics is to combine all element of fitness into one workout. That means while doing aerobics, you should increase your flexibility, your muscular strength and your cardiovascular fitness. That's aerobics. But where does it come from? Aerobics was first developed by a man named Dr. Kenneth H. Cooper, who was a doctor of medicine and also part of the Air Force, and he was very surprised that some people who have a great muscular strength perform very poorly in cardiovascular activities like long distance running, bicycling, swimming, long distance walking, and he wanted to change that. Therefore, he began using a bicycle ergometer to measure sustained performances in terms of a person's ability to use oxygen. In 1968, he published his books Aerobics, including elements of swimming, running and bicycling. Eleven years later, in 1979, he published a new version of it, calling it the new aerobics. Now this is all fair and square, but when we are thinking of aerobics, we are not thinking running, cycling, swimming, right? We are thinking of aerobics dancing. And for that we have to say, thank Jackie Sorensen, Sorensen, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, I'm very sorry, but she's the mother of aerobics and is inspired by Dr. Kenneth H. Cooper's book, he created aerobics dancing in 1969. However, the real aerobics boom just started, just started. However, the real aerobics boom started in 1982. It gained great popularity and spread it worldwide when Jane Fonda's workout video in 1982 was released. And this is what we are doing today. <laughs> we are trying out a Jane Fonda workout video, a version from 1982, and see what it's all about. I must say I'm super hyped. I have seen the intro already uh, to this video, however they are showing off hard, they are doing all the splits and stuff. I mean, it's not that I couldn't do the splits, if I just wanted to. I think I cannot even get a split while bowling. The Jane Fonda workout video we are doing today is in the description, of course, try it out yourself. I will also not show you the whole video because the workout is 30 minutes long and I'm sure that's not so interesting for you. I will only show you bits and pieces, the most 80s movement and the movements in which I fail miserably for your entertainment. You're welcome. Maybe it's also the movements I could do the best but still look stupid and I tell you that these are the ones I failed miserably and all the rest were perfect. See? See, you never know. <laughs> we are also going to change locations in just a minute because I need a little bit more space. And I'm also not sure yet if I can use the audio in this video of the Jane Fonda workout video. Maybe I have to put another audio on top. But you know what? This is something future me can decide. I do not have to care of this minor details like the whole structure of this video right now just filming it. <laughs> Let's do some workout. So now you start thinking, was this whole video only an excuse to buy a really 80s workout outfit and make a really 80s style workout video? Of course. <laughs> but I had a look around Tokyo and I couldn't find anything that I had originally in mind. So I have an alternative because if you think 80s fashion, what comes to mind? It comes to mind bright colors very tight workout clothes and nearly costumey like, right? I got you covered. And if you're now saying, oh, but Power Rangers are from the 90s, not from the 80s, but who counts? I mean, come on, can you, can you just roll with it? Don't be a nerd today. <laughs> I feel fabulous, so let's start some Jane Fonda workout. 80s! <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a Jane Fonda workout video from 1982. Aerobics are awesome. I really liked it. It is a great exercise. I had a lot of fun. So my recommendation is to try it out. There's also an advanced video um, after this workout video. So if you like to try the advanced level, feel free. I am not as flexible as every single person in this video. But maybe if I try it out a little bit more often, that will change. With that said, this is the end of the video. I hope you're joining me next week, but up until then, I hope you have a really great week. Go, go, Power Rangers! Dee, 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 dee.